photo. There's a person in the photo. I know there's a person in the photo. Oh my god, I'm literally driving 30 miles an hour on a 60 because I can't see to save my life. This so is dense. a really, really <laughs> dense fog. Oh my god. I can't even see the lines on the road. Honestly, the camera looks more clear than the actual road itself with the naked no, eye. No, with the naked eye, this is impossible. <laughs> this is this is, I can see two two lines in the road in front. What the hell? This is spooky. Yeah. All right, so um, we've come all the way out to Wales to do a location, and things have just taken a turn for the worst. Um, we didn't bother doing any history on it. We just heard about it until now. We're parked literally one minute away from it now. These first two lines, I'm not going to show because it shows, hold on, it shows the name of the 17 year old who was murdered and it shows the name of the street and address of this property. So I'm just going to go ahead and read what it says. So basically, she was 17. Um, the victim's boyfriend was in a wooded area close to a disused airfield when she discovered the victim's body in a manhole inspection pit. Approximately 40 minutes earlier, the victim had been reported missing. It was later found that the victim had been brutally assaulted both physically and actually, and her death was the result of strangulation using her own tights, which were still around her neck when she was found. That is absolutely horrible. 17. This happened in 1977 at this house. So, we have dubbed this house the screaming house for a number of reasons but one of which is going to be we're using the aztec death whistle to try and unlock any memories in the walls of this building but i don't actually know what we're gonna yeah, I'm really nervous. yeah i don't know what we're gonna come across on yeah. this one because this is a real murder house now when when we usually do these these tend to be some of the most active houses around okay so um We'll be respectful. We will not use her name no. whatsoever. No calling out for her. No, no she needs to rest. Yeah, mm. but we will try and make contact with anybody there that might make contact to further prove the, well, the existence of an afterlife. Mm. But as well, I want to unlock the memories within the walls of this house. And I'm kind of actually really nervous about wow. what we might encounter this say, time. I think, to be honest, I've just made a bit work. It's, it's like up the stage. Well, I wasn't it? expecting it. Like it was just, it wasn't what we were planning to do. No, no. no. We, th <laughs> no. we thought it was just an abandoned house, so we would test out and see if it's haunted and see. Yeah, yeah we just obviously pulled up outside. No, and seen, but you know, we just, just we just pulled up the street and we, we got that information. Run some history and Jesus. So, yes, a 17 year old was abused and murdered and strangled to death with her own tights <sighs> and then dumped in a manhole from this house. That's disgusting. Are you, guys, are you guys going to be okay doing this stuff? Yeah. No, it'll be fine. It's just obviously it's a bit more sensitive. Like, mm. that's, a, that's a young girl. Like, really and really thrown in a manhole. I know. So, respect through this whole yeah. thing. And of course, you know, you know that. Okay. Yeah. But I also want you guys to keep your wits about you, right? Because okay. places like this also have tendencies to have darker entities that manifest from the pure negative energy, okay? So, better known as shadow figures um, or just... I, I call it manifested darkness. It's pure evil that becomes intelligent based on a house's history. Okay. So we have a lot to work with tonight, but I, I'll say nine times out of ten, any place where a, a brutal murder happened is Bad energy. active. And okay. yeah, the energy will be a bit intense. When you say active, what, what sort of level are we talking? <laughs> well, I mean, we, I did Keeper's Cottage Stud and we caught a ghost on camera. Okay. And that made it in the news, international news. So that was years okay. ago, and we made peer contact with um, Lucy, who was murdered there. Mm. Um, again, I'm not going to use the name here, but if we do hear it ourselves, mm. um, I, I will just point out that I heard her name. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, that's good. Right? So, okay. yeah, we are not even a 30 second drive away. It is currently 11 11 at night. Oh, fuck's oh sake. my god. I'm not even kidding. It's 11 11 I just got chills. Don't, I've been getting them all day. What does that mean again? Angel numbers. Angel. No, 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 oh, I know that. I mean, what does that particular number mean? 11 11 is a good, well, they're all good. Okay. Yeah, but, but the fact that I literally just pulled it up at exactly an angel number, let me type in 11 it's like 11 the angel premium number. angel number 1111. The angel number 1111 meaning is a reminder that we are all one, all interconnected. It also, 
uh, also a call to action asking you to align your thoughts and actions with your highest good and best self. You are manifesting your thoughts, so keep them positive. Okay, we gotta go in positive. Respect. Yeah. Nothing but respect tonight. Yeah. That is a sign. Yeah, the 1111 yeah. right there. Yeah. Alright. You guys ready then? Yeah. yeah. Let's go drive by it and see what happens. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so. We gotta watch out for the neighbors and be quiet, but it's gonna be right here on our right. How do we in line with it? Uh, not yet, not yet. And. Nope, not that one. It's that. That's. that's well, that there it is. That's it. That's it. Can you see it alright? Yeah, I can see it. Let me find a place to park. Let's do this. Yeah, guys. Again, I apologize. I had no idea this was a murder house. Yeah. But hey, I mean, we're ghost hunters. This is yeah, what this, this is, is what we do. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. It just ups the stakes, and it? it just makes it feel, feel a bit more sort of daunting. Yeah. Usually, we don't know the history around the places we go to. So. Yeah. yeah. Which is pure, fluke, obviously pure fluke. Just yeah. said, you know, maybe we should run some history. Yeah. And then bam. Right, right. A heinous crime being committed in this property. Yeah. Let's try and go right in, and any photos you want of the place, uh, take afterwards. Oh, no, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Right now, I just want to get in and get a quick investigation done, just in case the neighbors are on it. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually nervous now. I know, I, I didn't actually getting a little realize bit nervous. just how uh, intimidating this place actually is. Where is it again? Just pulled up and they're parking. They've, they've, they've stopped as soon as I open the door, so I don't know if they're. Okay, there's a car there that's just pulled up. They turned their lights off and they turned it back on. They just sit in the car for a minute. Yeah. Why did they turn? Okay, they just turned their lights off again. Still in the car, so probably just watching me, to be honest. Let's just see what happens. Right, so that car that had its lights on didn't appear to be doing much. Oh god, look at the big ass woods in the back. It's all forest. The back door is wide open. Let's just go. Holy crap. This is daunting. I'm gonna try and squeeze through this. It's a very tight gap. I don't like that. Look at all the mis oh look at God. all the weapons here. Disposable gloves. Do me a favor. Once you get through, I know, Jazz. Do me a favor. Grab those and bring them with us. Take them away from the entrance. Don't use, don't use your hand. And take, yeah, move them away. Oh my God, that's that's so heavy. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Why are they here? Under the bed or something. Put them under this bed. Come here, come here. Just hide them under this bed. We don't need no weapons laying around. Yeah. Yeah, put that away. Well, that's one way to make me extremely uncomfortable extremely quickly. Yo, what is this? There's like a weird tiki head here. I don't know, 
it's a tiki hat of some kind. It's creepy. I know. All right, tell you what. We shouldn't be in here longer than we need to be. This is one of these in and out jobs, especially with the ax chilling there made me really uncomfortable. Okay, let's take the camera. We're gonna just run a spare box right off the bat. Here. I can't hold that down, I've got, I've got my hands full. Does your torch work? Yeah. Use your torch. Make this Don't quick. turn that light off. Let's make this quick, because I'm not uncomfortable now. Hello, is there anybody here? The bear's going off already. Going off big time. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. Right, take your light off of it if you want or something, I don't know. Right. Is there somebody here, yes or no? You can keep turning your light on now. Keep it on. You still are. What? Hello, who's here? Are you the one that was murdered? I hate that there's an axe in here. I know. I'm glad we hit it, but... You're the one that was murdered. Say murdered, please. Jasmine, keep a light that way. What? Test is going off again. Bottom right foot keeps going off. Alright, so we're picking up on EMF 100%. Oh, and the hand as well. What happened to you here? Please tell me. Don't like you. I just said don't like you. The bear's going mental. The bear's going mental. Oh, shit. Huge levels of EMF. Oh, my God. Are you sat right here? Here. Are you at peace? Say peace, please. Are you okay? Just keep them coming soon. Can we just keep a light in that no, corridor? Section. I get a weird game. It's fucking bitterly cold now. Yeah. Right. I'm for some reason I'm getting this urgent vibe of needing to escape, and I don't know if that's just because of the energy in the building. Or what? But I want to be prepared to get out quick if we have to. So, the spirit box. I will decide on that. I got a digital recorder with me. I got the death whistle. I'm going to use just now, right up. What was that? What was that? I don't know, I heard a noise. Where was that noise? I don't know. How um, just very quickly, do you think that's actually a sensible idea to the death whistle? That is very loud. I know. It's we'll gonna draw it. a lot of attention. We'll just do it once to get that over with. Well, right. it. Yeah. We're in the back of the house. Right, can we just sensibly though keep a light, Jasmine, keep your light down there because if someone comes in we want to see them before they see us. The only way they're coming in is through there and we'll see them through there first. Okay. That's what's well, that's the, the little window where the axe was. Oh, oh okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, sorry. I'm trying to work out the house. Okay, what do you say? Do I just, do I just send it? Uh, send it. Send it. <laughs> Come whatever may. Okay. God, please forgive us for this. Please don't let anything bad happen to us. I know we're a bit jumpy, but you can't blame us. Okay. Are you going to do the EVP at the same time? Well, yeah. EVP yeah. at the same time is a genius idea. We're going to do this and immediately do an EVP. Okay. Oh, fuck. I'm shaking, I believe. Yeah, I'm really concerned about this. Is it me or does this place just have a completely fucked aura? It's got the aura? worst vibe I've ever I'm felt in my life. I'm literally just thinking I'm going to get pounced on it. I feel like somebody's going to jump out at any fucking moment. It's stupid, but I'm actually scared being over here than rather than next to you guys. I'm never normally like this. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. The vibe's just horrid. Well, we're at the back of the house. 
The neighbors are going to be over there. Okay. Let me see. Oh, oh, fuck it. Send it? Send fuck. it. Fuck. Send right. it. Okay. I'm hitting the record now. Three, two, one. What was that creaking noise? Hello? I heard a creak like... As soon as, so did I. As soon so as did I, I did it, there was a... Like that, that was me. That was, that's what oh. I heard. It's fucking hell, man. Okay, calm down. Let me just calm the fuck down. Right? Okay, a little bit of extra light. Yes. Yeah. Come back. What? There's already voices behind my voice. You are. You are done. It's a voice immediately behind my voice. You are done. There's something there. Yeah, yeah, you can hear. Hold on. Don't do it. It sounds like forgive me or Let me go back a bit more. No more, sorry. Play it to us. I can't make that out. I feel like there's somebody here with us. We're not alone. We're not alone. We're not, alone. We're not are we? I can't take my eyes off this doorway. I can't move. I genuinely don't want to fucking move. How the fuck did I get an EVP before I even blew the whistle? Should we try a different room? Try another EVP? Yeah. Bedroom, follow me. Shit. Oh my god. the bedroom, that's the way That's right at the front of Where is it? That's at the front, you can have to be a lot more careful. This one will probably be better. Isn't it? Come on, one more EVP. Okay, step in the hallway. Let's just yeah, do the hallway. No, no, go that way, go that way. Fuck. I'm not a fan of this. I don't want to have my back to any room. Right. Right, I'm having my back to the door. What? What's that grumbling? What grumbling? Fuck it. Who's here with us right now? Who said you are done? Are we in danger? That attic is creeping me. I know. I did. What's that last bit? It's so cold. I just hear I did to start, but I don't know what that is.
Is that here I come? Oh god. Here I come. Fuck. It's like the fucking the murderer. <laughs> Murderers up in the house. It's either murderers in the Don't house or we've woken up the spirit or the, the memory of the murderer in the house. I don't know what's the safest place to be is, do you know what I mean? There's this a, whole place is no. fucked. I don't but, like this. No, I'll tell you, let me talk to the camera real quick. I think that was me, I hope that was me. The thing is with murder houses, right? I think the fear level is high is because you can't feel safe in a place like this. No. Knowing what's happened, the energy in itself will not allow you to feel safe. Because at the time of the person who got killed here, there was no safety. That mm. was it. They knew their life was done. So there is no safety here. Even long. Years. 1977. What, what year is it? 2022 now. 87, mm. 97, 07, 17 plus 5. 45 years ago that happened. And to this day, even after 45 years, no one's lived, in no one's lived here. And... It still has impending doom. The feeling of impending doom everywhere. Is it me or is it absolutely bitterly cold? So cold. It is cold. really cold. It keeps dropping. My lips are fucking here. painful. Is that cold? Go back into the living room. I feel. I just don't feel safe. I don't feel safe anywhere. But let's try the living room. It's what? Like any on this house. No, I don't know why there are weapons everywhere. It's awful. I'm more concerned because you obviously said if there is an intelligent spirit that they can move stuff. The only thing they can really move in this entire place is any weaponry or small articles. Yeah. And I'm just more nervous that what if we piss something off enough for it to move like a pitchfork or something. I know it sounds silly because it's only a small property but I don't like it. It's such a tiny property. I'm doing it. And there's, but like the thing it. is getting out is impossible. Did you see how we had to yeah, slide in? Don't. Don't. That's what I'm thinking about. I'm sure I just like a what? I'm sure I just saw a curtain move. A curtain move? Mm. Oh, I thought you said a person. Curtain. If you see a person, you let us know. Yeah, we get the fuck out. Why was it this chair that it was so keen on as well? I don't, I don't know. Look at uh, the fucking spider in there. Yeah. This has been here since the 1950s. Oh, look, it's clearly a 70s chair. I also found an article saying that this was built in 1950s and has not been touched since, so every style and design is all how it was. They didn't revamp it, the family that lived here, so that was probably an original piece. Yeah. What was that? What did you hear? Dad. Don't. Do you know what's there? It's in the attic on there. Was this worth it? Again. This was worth the two hour drive. I'm trying to work out the thudding. It's like I can hear my own heart, or if it's an actual physical thud. Could you guys hear it as well, or just me? The si yeah. silence is deafening here. I can't figure out, figure out the energy at all. It's like fight or flight, in it? It feels like fight or flight, 100%. That's how I feel. I just want out. I want out so bad. I've never wanted out of a building more in my life. I know it's not really stupid. Because and we've, we've done places. Some scary places. I know, as I said, we've done places way worse than this. Like the crypt, for example. That should be a get the fuck out. I felt at peace in the crypt. I feel better in the crypt than I do in here. I felt okay in the crypt. Here, I feel like. I am literally waiting for a face to jump at that hatch. Yeah. That is scaring the crap out of me, that hatch being open. But I don't want to close it because we won't see anyone come in. No. I wonder if they'll Right. Take this one last time. This is all raw footage. This is all going on the channel raw. Yeah. Last spirit box. And then, honestly, like, Jasmine, I, keep your flashlight behind us just in case something comes yeah. in. I feel dead ass yeah, like that's it. fucking running for my life. All right, I believe the death whistle. Did that wake up any of your memories? Maybe the, sc the screaming girl you murdered? Who's here? You try it. Right, keep the light behind me. Right behind you? I watch your back, you watch mine. Okay. Um, 
Can you please come forward and talk to us if there's any energies here? Let's go. So to our go. I know what to do. Reverse. Reverse it. Quick. Go. Sorry, excuse. Couple more sweets. Huh? Couple more sweets. All right. That's good. That's good. Take this. Right, Turn that off so we can hear any and all noises. I'm putting this back ready to flee if we need to. And let's just listen now. Need help? Here we are. That was, that so was clear as day. <gasps> Creeps me out. Creeps me out this. What do you guys want to do? I've never Truth felt, be told, I just want to leave, I've but never I don't felt know. It's more like, in my fucking life. if you want to stay, I'll stay, but I'm not happy to. I'll put it that way. I don't know. I want, I think it like Tesla. You want Tesla out? Why don't we hold Tesla? So we're going to try a bit longer. I think so. You still doing your loan challenge? No. No, 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 no. 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 I think this will be the first ever Proven Demons video that was done completely uncut through the actual investigation. Yeah. Having up and being so scared. I know, I know, I don't like this. If you can affect the bear, to let us know you're here, could you please? We'd like it if you could answer yes or no questions as well. Are you here? If you can hear us, can you come closer to us? Is the young girl still here? Do you want to try stepping back from the bear real quick? Yeah, sure. Who's here with us, please? She's on. The foot. Going off now. Yeah, the foot. We're getting EMF. Are you coming closer? Oh my god, she's lighting up like a Christmas tree. All right, I'm listening to the EVP while you're doing that. Are you making it go off? Thank you. Can you answer yes or no questions with that? What the fuck is what that? What the fuck was that? I don't know. <gasps> that was demonic. That was freaking demonic. What the fuck is that? Keep it on. Look behind you. No. Look behind you. Just look behind. Guys, I'm listen, not, I'm not keeping my... Hang on. Listen. listen, listen. I'm not keeping Stay my back to that hatch. I'm not listen doing how clear that is. Look behind you. Oh, my God. It's look behind you. Just look yo, behind you. Yo, yo. There's something dark here. There's something really dark here. And this is great. We're catching this evidence, but... 
it had for me. To I think feel, that's the first time I've ever heard for, that for so point, clear. Say, it reminds me of the monster voice. Yeah, but for me to feel this much, get me the fuck out of here. That means this whatever here is going to be really fucking yeah, really dark. I'm talking. About I have dark, never dark. in all of my time of doing this, Andrew, remember, ever heard it that clear. Do you remember when I was teared up and cried when we got the EVP at the I monster? Can't worry about this is the same level of darkness in this house. This is why we feel like this. This is without a doubt an evil place. Stay we saw that come that you rattled. Come on, let's go into the kitchen. Maybe let's take a step out and just right, decide. Can you how take the camera for two seconds? My arm's killing me. Yeah, just follow me. Right? What's the matter? What? Okay, it's fine. You must have kicked her. Okay. Let's just work our way out of here. You thought you heard something. Right. For now, let's just cut out of here because we'll stay together, try to be quiet so we don't alert anyone that we're here. Oh god. There's like saws and all sorts of weapons here, guys. All of this stuff can be used to kill. There's a knife there too. I'm stood right here. Right. Stand there for Jazz. I'm stood here. It's okay. Did you see all the knives and stuff just stood sat by the door? No, there's something. There's this is the place that I am not comfortable with. Can I just confirm something? Yeah. They said a man on cover. What says it right behind there? What? What'd you say? They found her in the woods, and there's woods over there. That's all woods behind us. Her body probably was found back there. Can we get off the property? I've never felt... No. I'll do an EVP in the car to double check. I've never felt more uncomfortable in my entire life in a location. That is right. I didn't like that at all. Right, right, right. Before we go, I'm going to get a quick photograph of the place. More in there, but I don't want to go back in. I'm, like I said, I feel so fucked up being in there. What was that? Yeah. What? Not a photo, not a photo. Why does it look like there's a... No, put your thing back up. What? Someone's screaming. That photo. Take it to the car. I saw a person in the fucking photo. There's a person in the photo. I know there's a person in the photo. It's a fucking person in the photo. No. Okay, that's fucked. There is a person in the photo. Uh, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Calm down. I haven't even found my keys yet. There. We're in the car. Okay. So where are you looking at? There. And I've seen just as much as I can. What's that? There's a fucking Hold gown. Hold on. <coughs> See, when I, when you did it, I was looking at, I saw one of those. What I was freaking out about, and I was trying to warn you, was while you were doing it, I saw a person stood by the couch, stood up right there. And then now you're now I'm seeing a face looking creeping out no, looking look, out the window. Look, yeah, I see him. There. I see him. He's, it, there. There's a face creeping out the window, I know. But when I first saw him, oh when God. I when I was walking up to you and maybe my camera caught it, no, 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 the no, no, person no. was stood like in the that, fucking that that uh, that develops. Yeah. So, so I need to it, it, it was moving. I need to go and do a burst. If you do a burst it will take 50 photos in the space of like a second and you can go through them and see which one, one's different. Hold on. <coughs> You're going to have to send me this picture. Because <coughs> I can't focus on it. Let me try turning the light out. <coughs> now the camera's getting foggy. Hold on. Right. 
I wish I could so just. Focus, is it? Hang on, let me just scroll it, scroll it in, and bring the camera back. There's a person looking out the window. There's a person on the right hand side in the panel. You're gonna have to send me that picture. Right. The other, right. The only other thing I'd be prepared to do. What? And I'm sorry, I ran out of fear and instinct. Drive up to it. Hmm. Or even you guys sit here, leave the car lights on, I'll run down, take a burst and come straight back. I'll just pull up in front of the house and we can take it from the car. Because if you burst it, then at least you can get you can get so many shots within a, within a second. And then obviously you can you can go through them. And let me just check how that... I think you hold it down. No, you don't. Ignore me. Fuck, how did you burst again? God damn it. To be fair, I'm not fussed. Because I saw what I was trying to no. tell you. No, listen to me, please. I keep trying to tell you. What I saw when I walked up to you with my camera was a person on your iPhone, through the picture on the iPhone, stood behind the couch. Yeah. That's what I it's saw. It's almost yeah. there. You can see like a foggy mark around it. Yeah. Uh, when, yeah, when it was there, he was stood behind the couch. And then now it look, it's creeping out the window and we were just in there. What? Right now? Yeah. You want to go back? I don't know. Box, it's not mating. So that's where she was. That was where she was found. Was in the woods in a manhole cover. She was found. Yeah, she was strangled to death and thrown down a manhole. I'm not okay with this. Right. Oh fuck's sake. Oh my god. Dunny, you might have to hold it. I can't get that that close. Jasmine, can yeah. you get a closer Do, shot? Uh, Jasmine, if you take the camera. See if you can see if you back my camera right here. Shine through the window. I can't see anything in there that. No, it looks I normal. can't see it now. There's nothing there that would be on the window to make that pattern either. No. no. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't even like looking at it. This is truly a house Right. Let's go, see ya. Jasmine's got the camera. Oh, you're still. She had a better. She had a better shot than I did. Right. Mm. Just take this and film. Okay. Which way? Me. Film me. Right. Listen, everybody. Um, we need to go back at some point, but we need more people with us for this one. Uh, with the three of us alone on how fucked that was, it's not going to cut it, especially with everything that just went down, the voices, the scream in the woods, here, or seeing that in the photograph. And it, like I said, it wasn't even just the, lie, the photograph that actually was delivered. I saw a person through your phone while I was stood behind you going, babe, there's a person. There's a freaking mm -hmm. person in there. So all I'm going to say is if you guys want us to go back full blown with, with somebody else, Right, for a place this dark and demented, hit the like button and let me know in the comments below. And I hate after something so incredible like that, I gotta do the old spiel, so just bear with me everyone. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this video. It's an absolute banger of a video, just trust me on this. We, we provide the most horrifying content on YouTube, and it's all legit, and that's the best part. Everyone smash this link, and we'll see you next time. I'll end it as we always do. Do you believe yet? Yeah.